Wade Antennas DMXMD 32N Tower is easy to install and serves a multitude of purposes to meet your needs. This video will walk you through the step-by-step -step process of assembling your new DMXMD 32N Tower. Step 1. Fasten plywood sheets together to create a guide for a 4-foot long by 4-foot wide hole. Step 2. Start digging the hole by breaking the ground with standard commercial digging tools. Make use of industrial digging equipment such as an excavator to greatly reduce digging time. Remove any large rocks to maintain the shape of the hole, being careful not to destabilize the hole's integrity. Step 3. When the dig is finished, measure the width and length of the hole. Be sure to take the measurements from both the top and bottom of the hole to ensure consistency. Measure the depth of the hole. Be sure to take measurements in multiple locations, such as the corners or the center of the hole, to ensure an even result. Step 4. Assemble and install the base frame. The frame provides a guide and support for the above ground portion of the base. Step 5. Prepare to start installing the tower by opening up the convenient shipping bundle. You will need to install the base stubs to the bottom section of the tower using the supplied hardware. Optionally, a rain shield can be installed on the base stubs to protect the drying concrete from the weather. Preparation should now be made to begin pouring the concrete. Step 6. Once the concrete is ready to pour, ensure an empty workspace in and around the hole and begin pouring the cement. You will need to guide the cement with a shovel or similar tool in order to maintain a fairly even distribution of the concrete in the hole. Step 7. Using a trowel or similar flat tool, ensure the surface of the cement is level. Step 8. Install the base of the tower. Ensure the tower is level on each side, shifting the base slightly as necessary. You will need to move cement to even out the space around the holes where the base was installed. Level out the cement once again. Step 9. Create traction on the surface of the cement. This allows safe walking conditions on the base as needed. Smooth the edging as desired. Optionally finish installing the rain shield by firmly attaching it to the base frame. Once the cement has sufficiently dried, the rain shield can be removed. Step 10. Now that the cement has properly dried, the remaining sections of the tower can be installed. Be sure to use all necessary safety gear when climbing the tower. You will need to create a pulley system in order to raise each part up to the desired height for installation. Once the tower section is properly in place, secure it to the previously installed tower with the supplied hardware. Repeat until the tower is completely installed. Step 11. Install the functional element of the tower. The DMXMD 32N supports a number of different applications such as wind turbines, video surveillance systems, amateur radio, SCADA, wireless and rural broadband internet access, as well as industrial commercial communications applications. Step 12. Install the climb shields. Climb shields serve to prevent potential accidents and unsafe behavior by preventing climbing access without the use of a ladder. Your DMXMD 32N tower is now completed and functional. The high quality galvanized steel used to make the DMXMD 32N will ensure a long life for your tower. Thank you for trusting the industry leader, Wade Antenna, to serve all your needs.